Most girls in the famous West African city, which shall be nameless, knew the address 20 Molomo Street. For there lived a most colourful and eligible young bachelor by name, Amusa Songo. In addition to being crime reporter for the West African sensation, Songo in his spare time led a dance band that played the calypsos and the concomas in the only way that delighted the hearts of the city women. Husbands who lived near the All Language Club knew with deep irritation how their wives would, on hearing Songo's music, drop their knitting or sewing and wiggle their hips, shoulders and breasts, sighing with the nostalgia of musty nights years ago when lovers' eyes were warm on their faces. Nights that could now, with a home and family, be no more while those who as yet had found no man would twist their hips alluringly before admiring eyes, tempting, tantalising, promising much but giving little, basking in the vanity of being desired. Of women, Songo could have had his pick, from the silk-clad ones who wore lipstick in the European manner, and smelled of scent in the warm air to the more ample, less sophisticated ones in the big-sleeved velvet blouses that feminized a woman. Yet, Songo's one desire in this city was peace and the desire to forge ahead. No one would believe this knowing the kind of life he led that beneath his gay exterior lay a nature serious and determined to carve for itself a place of renown in this city of opportunities.